What's up, it's Paul from Guitar World, and today we're gonna to be looking at IK Multimedia's Amplitude 2 along with iRig. It is a virtual and mobile guitar rig for your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and your iPad. Let's check it out. IK Multimedia's Amplitude 2 along with iRig launched not too long ago, and as I said before, it's a complete multi-effects processor for guitar and bass for your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad. What I have here is the iPad version, which is really a great way to see this because it has a bigger screen and it's easier to use and you have more real estate to see what you're doing within this software. iRig, of course, is the hardware interface which allows you to plug your guitar cable into your iPad or your iPhone or, or your iPod Touch so you can access the software that is Amplitude 2 and use this. It's a great device to get your virtual guitar rig anywhere, and it's a great sketch pad to get all your ideas onto your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. IK Multimedia's Amplitude 2, along with iRig, is real easy and intuitive to use. You buy the software online, load it onto your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and then get the iRig as well. So the iRig is the hot hardware. It's just very simple. You go from your guitar, instrument cable, into the iRig, there's a headphone out, which would be your line out, and you go to whatever device you need to hear it. And then this plugs into your um, headphone input of your, of your device, of your Apple device. Again, you start the program up, pretty much this type of a screen shows up, and this is basically your virtual guitar rig. It's very simple. What you have over here is you have your amp choice, and you basically have four choices of guitar amps, and along, and as well, you have a bass amp, so you can plug your bass in as well. So that's a great added feature for bass players. Everyone forgets the bass players. Anyway, you have your four guitar amps labeled into clean, crunch, lead, and metal. So it gives you four different options. You can see how, when I pick one, it'll change. Right now, let's start with clean. You get that, you get that type of amp, crunch. There's that type of amp. And then, of course, lead, you get that type of amp. Over here, metal, you get that type of amp. And then last but not least, you have bass. Then you move over one. Over here, you get your choice of cab. As you can see, there's about five different choices of cab. 112, 212, 412A, 412B, angled, bottom, and a 115 cab. What's really great is if you look over here, let me switch my amp back to where it was. You can, you can see the amp, you can change your cab just by touching the screen, so it's real easy, so you don't have to go to the drop menu. So I can just keep changing with different sound, and you can hear the different sounds, I just cycle through all the cabs. There's two microphones over here, you can get to hear the difference between both of them, so that's of course a matter of taste. And then of course, up here we have our effects. And the way the effects kind of work is that, if you were to imagine, imagine it as it was real, your guitar goes in here, and then it just works its way back into the amp. So that's how you would line up your effects. And then you have, pretty much you have four effects that can be used at a time, and you can pick whatever effect you need to use by just dropping down. And I have my choice of delay, fuzz, distortion, overdrive, wah, envelope filter, chorus, flanger, phaser, octave, noise filter, and then you can just keep adding uh, a la carte from Amplitude 2 to add on more effects. And that's just as easy as just if I want to add more gear, I go right over here to the Add Gear menu, and it tells me what's available. There's updates all the time from IK Multimedia. You just buy it and just keep on adding. Uh, the other thing that I added on for this particular device is the recording capability. Now, it comes with a single track recording capability in Amplitude 2, but I have the option to bump it up to eight tracks on the iPad, but four tracks on the iPhone, of course, of the real estate issue. But as you can see here, it's a nice clean interface for my eight track recording capability. So I can ha I have a huge sketch pad of eight tracks to lay down bass, guitar, and then import whatever drums and stuff that I wanna do. I can really build everything here. And you can see all the controls necessary to make me sound awesome. Check out the metal amp. <laughs> Thank you. 
Check out the lead amp. The other features in Amplitude 2, which are also uh, useful and great, is we have the tools section here, which of course is a built-in tuner, and then there's a built-in metronome. I can just let you hear that really quick. And of course the tuner, you can leave the tuner on and uh, pull it down on the drag menu, and you can see I have the tuner already on, so I, can have that, I have that little small interface if I need to tune quickly, or if I really need the big interface, I just hit back the tools, turn it on, and there is a beautiful tuner over here. Another great feature is the Speed Trainer, and it allows you to also import files from your iTunes library into Amplitude 2. So say I want to learn a song from my iTunes library, I can just go into Song over here. I import the song into the Phrase or Speed Trainer. I can play along with the track, or as you can see over here, I can, oops, sorry about that. I can slow it down to learn it, and it keeps it within the same pitch. So it's really great. It's a great feature to learn music. Last but not least, I should mention that Amplitude 2 allows you to store your presets of whatever you create here for your guitar sounds. You just basically hit the preset menu over here, and you have up to 12 spaces to basically Li uh, save, your, save your guitar sounds. It already comes with some presets, and the best way to do it is just to basically go through each of these presets and start adding. You can start save your own over here, but the best thing to do is start with a template, like Metal Gain over here. I'll pull this down. Now, over here I have my delay. I have two delays, but I really don't need another delay. I'm going to add a distortion over here. So I bring it in, pick whatever pick whatever my pedals over here, but I want the distortion. Whoops, pick the fuzz. There's a the distortion. I turn it off, it can hear all that, all the noise and the hiss of, it sounds like a virtual amp. And uh, basically I have my whole setup right over here. So I have a delay, a distortion, and a noise filter. And of course, here's my metal amp. Now let's just mess around with the controls. Using Amplitude 2 is really easy with control-wise. So let's hear my core sound. Okay, so say if I want to add anything to it, basically you just touch the screen and start moving, start moving the, the knobs, the virtual knobs. It's that easy. The best way to do it, I always find, is to touch the knob that you want to do and then move up or down with your finger. So, and then you can see the value down here at the selection. So for example, if I wanted more treble or less treble, touch the treble knob. Go up and down. And if I want to turn on a pedal, just touch the button. Boom. Now you hear I have a lot of gain coming through. So what my noise filter does over here, which is a pedal, I basically touch the knob and bring it up and there goes the noise. And I can bring it down, take off that distortion. And if I want to add a pedal over here on the fourth spot, I can. There's just so many things you can do. All you have to do is start messing around. Let me change the cabinet function as well. That one is a, a bottom 412. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a 115. Here's a 112. Here's a 412 angled cabinet. And take a listen, this has a re one of the mics here, let's see the difference with a different mic. Boom. Really great. Now last but not least, if you like what you just heard, so I dig that sound, I'm going to go to preset, I'm going to go right here to 12, I'm going to hold it, and then comes up my uh, screen, I'll just name it, Metal and then create, and there it is. I have my new preset for metal. Check out the Crunch flavored amp. <clears throat> Let's
Let's hear the clean amp with a little bit of flange and some tremolo. <laughs> One final note, IK Multimedia also partnered with Fender and they created Amplitude Fender, which is essentially Amplitude 2, but with all Fender licensed products. And what you're getting is that amazing, legendary Fender sound in Amplitude. And it's just captured beautifully in some of their amps and some of their pedals. The one thing about this, it has all the same features as Amplitude 2. You can have the recording capability, the phrase trainer and song thing as well. But you, all you, what you're getting is all Fender amps and Fender products, and it sounds just as great. The, the virtual sound of these Fender amps is beautiful. Take a listen to this deluxe reverb. <laughs> Well, the future is upon us. IK Multimedia's Amplitude 2, along with iRig, has brought the virtual guitar rig to all of Apple's mobile devices. The great thing about this, it's the ultimate tool to save and customize guitar sounds, use it as a recording device or a phrase trainer, or be able to take your guitar sound wherever you go. It's so awesome. Definitely check it out.